Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies! So, we've started out Adventure Mode a second time, so we're on World 2. But before we get started, as always, we begin with Zen Garden. Uh-oh, I'm running low on the cash. I can only buy one of these new Marigold Sprouts. That's not good. Let's wake Stinky up with a piece of chocolate. Might as well get him started early. I really am debating just selling a bunch of these Marigolds to get a huge amount of cash money. Because I do want to get all of the uh, plants from the store before Adventure Mode 2 is finished. I just don't know what to do. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep my chin up, see what works best for me. Yeah, so I guess I'll start things off. So we're on the nighttime stages now, and most of it I think will be able to be fast-forwarded just like I did for most of World 1. It's pretty, even this, the levels in World 2 for Adventure Mode 2 are even more similar than they were in World 1 between the Adventure Modes, because at least World 1, the first couple of levels, were tutorials the first time around. But World 2 is basically going to be exactly the same. From my understanding, maybe Whack a Zombie will be a bit harder. But the one real point of interest that is probably around for you guys is that the first level I'm going to try to get the uh, No Fungus Among Us achievement, which is clear a nighttime level without using any mushrooms. That's going to be kind of difficult, because... One of the main reasons that night levels are actually doable and generally pretty easy is because of the ability to use puff shrooms, which are free and are pretty good. We can't use those, so we're really going to have to scrounge up the sun, as much sun as we can get on that. Because no sun from the sky really does make a difference. Sun falls from the sky much more frequently than a single sunflower will produce sun. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting for sure. Ideally, I'd want to buy everything from the shop in this Let's Play, but I'm not sure if that'll actually end up happening. I at least want... we need to get all the plants. That's a gotta have. I may not be able to get all the Zen Garden stuff, but that's okay. The, the important and exciting things, though, I do want to show off. Ah, yes, like everyone wants the phonograph today. Generally, what I have noticed is that if a plant wants a phonograph on one day, they'll often want bug spray the next, and vice versa. So it'll rarely be like, oh, you just need to have a whole bunch of bug spray. Which, thank goodness for small favors. Thank you, Stinky. I'm not buying any- oh! Well, thanks to all of that that was grown, I can buy more of these marigold sprouts. Hooray! I sure hope I still have enough- uh-oh, not enough money. That's not good. We'll have to fix that with some of these phonographs. I think I will sell some of these marigolds. I'll sell the ones that want bug spray. <laughs> All the ones that want bug spray, you're out. Thank you, Crazy Dave. I appreciate it. Alright. Now we can officially start Adventure Mode 2. World 2. <laughs> Alright, so the first night level is going to be the easiest one to get the No Fungus Among Us achievement. Great. We have an ice shroom already. Wonderful. So we definitely need sunflowers. There's no way we're doing it without sunflowers. And we're going to basically pick as many cheap plants as we possibly can. So potato mine and squash for sure. Walnut for sure. We need it to keep the zombies back. Let's see. Other cheap plants. Maybe spike weed. Maybe grave. Nah, there aren't many graves on the first level, so we won't need that. How about just pea shooter, honestly? No, not pea shooter. Colonel Pole. Colonel Pole will be able to take out the newspaper zombies a little bit easier. And then maybe spike weed, honestly? Yeah, I think spike weed. Alright, so nighttime is going to be a tough time. No doubt about that. No puff shrooms, no sun shrooms. It's going to make things difficult. Now, thankfully, the zombies come in nice and slow, and we can use potato mines, but that means our sunflower supply is going to take a while to build up. Alright, zombies coming down there. I'm going to put the potato mine all the way in the back to delay the next zombie just as much as possible. 
And of course, it's not an arty video if the garage doesn't the garage door doesn't open sometime during the recording session. Hey. Yeah, the sunflowers just don't generate sun nearly as much as you find it falling from the sky. Part of me wants to put the second potato mine down, but I know I need I need a second sunflower down ASAP. One sunflower just can't keep up. It takes a while to get things going, but once we get the sunflowers down, it gets a lot easier. But in the meantime, we really do need to scrounge every last bit of the sun that we can get. We also may end up needing to use a lawnmower. I hope that potato mine arms itself before the zombie gets there. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. And now we get the zombies coming in at a larger rate. That was just in time. I might end up having just that zombie down there hit the lawnmower. Truly, I might. If I can get up enough sun to use a squash instead, then great. But at this rate, it's looking like it's not super likely gonna happen. There we go. So now we've got a good, decent amount of sunflowers down, which is good. We'll put a potato mine there, and we'll put a walnut there just to delay that guy. But we really do need to start building up our, uh, the rest of our plants. Thank you for throwing the butter at last. Took you long enough. So that guy got stuck, apparently. This is also a level where the imitator can really help. Like, if you haven't, if you have, if you've unlocked the imitator at this point, definitely use it on this level to duplicate the potato mine. If you're getting going for the no fungus among us achievement. gonna come in handy. And so do walnuts. Alright, first huge wave of zombies approaching. Wonderful. Sure hope my kernel pulse are up to the task! <laughs> gonna just preemptively put a potato mine there, because I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Good, the squash is reloaded, that's wonderful.
All right, cool. We've got a Colonel Pult in every lane. I, I think at this point, we're pretty much golden. Even if there are, even if there still is another huge wave that's approaching eventually. We're at, a, we're in a pretty safe spot right now. Again, it's that, it's the beginning of the level that's really scary. up using that potato mine after all. Sometimes that's how it happens. Brains. Definitely a level that gets easier once you get Colonel Pults. Colonel Pults are probably the best continuously attacking cheap plant, so to speak. It's so quiet all of a sudden. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies 1, Colonel Bolts. They're so good. You got two in one lane, the butter will just be flying. We didn't even have to use a lawnmower. I'm surprised. Normally you would have to use a lawnmower on this level. Or at least I was fully expecting we'd have to use a lawnmower on this level. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Bring them on. I know they're gonna rise from the graves. I got a little surprise for him. You're not getting away that easy. Who needs pop shrooms? I didn't need them, but it, they would have been nice. And there we go. Nighttime level, no mushrooms. I know the ice shroom was on the level, but still. And there we go. No fungus among us achievement. Pretty sus achievement. Unfortunately, the rest of the nighttime level should be pretty boring, because I'll be using... <laughs> these go get them plants. It's along with maybe gloom shrooms, especially since it was kind enough to give me garlic. Here we go.
Voila! Gloom Shroom Pumpkin Wall is overpowered, just like pretty much any Gloom Shroom combo. Time for Wack a Zombie again! If we play a game called Wack a Zombie, I played it with you like a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's just like hunting squirrels. You know those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that. But instead of squirrels, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you! Alright, let's see if this is any any more difficult than it was on Adventure 1. Seems to be pretty much the same. Why can't I have this mallet for regular levels? Seems like it would be really useful. Actually, if in the iPhone version, in Last Stand Endless, or in any of the Last Stand like uh, puzzle minigames, you literally can buy mallets from Crazy Dave's store and you can use them just like this. However, you can only use one for a few seconds at a time and then it's on a recharge. And obviously it takes uh, in-game money to do that. Boy, more grave busters. <laughs> I truly don't know why people would use buy anything on this level other than grave busters. <laughs> it's like, do you want to just take out a zombie that you could take out just with a click of a button, or do you want to stop the zombies from spawning in to begin with? Carefully. Oh boy, Zen Garden plants. Keep this up, we'll be able to just destroy all the graves. This is the final wave. I think this was easier in Adventure 2 than it was in Adventure 1. Wow. Good grief, we got rid of almost all the graves. Alright, time for football zombies. Oh, look, they even gave us squash already. Isn't that nice? And because they gave us sunflowers, we'll use those instead of sun shrooms. That's fine. They're almost as good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there are no vaulting zombies. Oh, yes. Oh, this is fantastic. You know what? We'll show off the twin sunflower. Why not? Maybe this will be the level to where we accumulate 8,000... No, I don't think it can be. Because we don't have anything like a walnut to hold things back.
pop cannons on a nighttime level. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you can get the cop cannons up and running, it's just like, yeah, nothing can touch you. You can just keep firing basically cherry bombs over and over and over again. Wow, we would like the midnight snack of ice cream and brains. I think this will be exactly the same, but uh, we'll just see. Yep, just as easy as the first time around. And man, I got really lucky with the conveyor belt spawns. I only got like a small handful of puff shrooms, and I got tons of scaredy shrooms, fume shrooms, and doom shrooms. Which are the free best. Alright. Going back to our zen garden, we picked up a couple more plants, and our plants are- <laughs> the ever plants are ready to be watered again, which, wow. Yeah, these episodes do take a bit of time to go through. I'm glad I'm doing them one world at a time now instead of two videos per world because this, I thought there was gonna be I thought that these these were gonna be a little more interesting to play through, which is why I'm like yeah we gotta do adventure mode too and I'm I do want to do adventure mode too to show off but it definitely feels like it's a lot more repeat footage than what I was expecting, but hey at least I can fast forward in and play some cool Plants vs Zombies remixes during it because man this game's got good music and there are good remixes for them out here. Hopefully people will be entertained as well. Just to see some of the different strategies I can have for the levels. Alright, we got 23,000. Can we buy anything with this? I, we can buy the gold magnet shroom, I guess. You know what? Might as well. It's the worst plant in the game by far, but yeah. Well, hopefully we can buy the imitator in the near future. Other than that, though, it's like the golden watering can makes it slightly faster to water your plants in Zen Garden, but not by much. The glove is literally just to move stuff around in your Zen Gardens. It's not even that good. These, obviously, we've bought those. And then the Aquarium Garden and the Mushroom Garden, like, I mean, if you want to get all the stuff in Zen Garden, you can. And then I have no idea what the heck the Tree of Wisdom is. Oh, yeah, valuable tips and secrets. I already know about this game, though. So that doesn't seem like uh, it will be all that necessary. Although, what I have heard... Apparently on the main menu, if you type in mustache, M-U-S-T-A-C-H-E. Apparently you activate mustache mode, apparently. I said apparently a lot. What? <laughs> let me see, let me see. Like, if we go to It's Raining Seeds. The hood? Yep, all the zombies have mustaches. That's actually kind of weird. That was definitely not in the iPhone version. 
Wait, hang on. If the, so, like, when the zombies actually come out to the attack, <laughs> will they have mustaches? Oh boy, marigold. Doggone it, they're on the bottom of the screen. I see the top of your head moving. I see a trundling along. Sure enough, he's got his mustache. That's interesting. Very inter- very strange. Did we get the achievement? Yep, we got the achievement for mustache mode. So that's actually one of the very- that's like the only- one of the only achievements that's in this version that was not in the iPhone version, along with Towering Wisdom and Immortal. That's interesting. Also, if it's not an achievement, but in the iPhone version, there's an achievement for having five co five or more cob cannons built at once, so I would have gotten that. Alright, next time on Plants vs. Zombies, we take on the pool world again, and one of the achievements for that is clear a pool level without using any aquatic plants. But of course, now that we've got the plants that we do, that achievement will go from being like, that's not even possible to, oh, that's actually pretty easy. So, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.